Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. I hope your good day continues after you leave the channel. <laughs> We're going to continue on with uh, Only Fools and Horses here. We're going to watch Season 2, Episode 7, Touch of Glass. This looks like it's the last episode for this season. So far, you know, the season's been pretty good. Had a few laughs there, you know. Got, got to see Rodney meet a, a girl to, who's a cop, you know, how Rodney's got a thing for uniforms and they had to clear out the house because she was coming back and they were going to check out the house to see what's uh, what they got stashed in there. So they had to clear out all this all this stuff. Dell Del went on a losing streak, but, you know, he broke out of it at the end. Well, <laughs> not really well i guess maybe rodney would be the cause of that loss you know when he he lost the the final coin toss at the end but you know that was on a bad streak the guy the guy he was playing cards with was cheating so i guess Dell had to find a way to cheat better and he came up with it in the end Along the season, you know, Rodley had met a couple of girls. They got into a bunch of hijinks, painting their mother's monument, you know, they glow yellow. You know, Rod Rodney fell in love with an old woman. They all got beat up by her ex ex husband or her husband, her criminal husband. You know, so it's it's been a bumpy season. This last episode, what is called Touch of Glass, doesn't really give you much until you see the episode, I guess, but. We're going to find out what that's about. So if you like the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and pass the video around. All right, let's get started. You manage, Granddad. Mind your own, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, you know. Not bad. I reckon we've done well there. Yeah, it's all right. Waste of money, if you ask me. What do you mean, a waste of money? I mean, look at them. They're beautiful, aren't they? They are also a revolving musical box. <laughs> I'm trying to cats that play how much is that doggy in the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you think it's a bit sick? You know, a cat playing a song about a dog? No, it means they're unique. <laughs> it means there was a balls up at the factory and they put the wrong chimes in. <laughs> yeah. Get this gear in here. Hold on, man. I bet there's some trader somewhere who's got lumbered with a gross of revolving dogs to play the Siamese cat song. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Come on, Granddad. We want you in here oh, and all. Go on. In you go. All right, all right. Jam him in. Go on. The door will hold him in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to earn out of this. Come on, Rodders, get your finger out. We've got a long drive home. <laughs> hey, look, should we pull over and give her an hand? You're a right little angel, you are, aren't you, mate? Go on, then. Go on, pull over. Good afternoon, madam. Can I be of any assistance? Do you know anything about cars? <laughs> I used to drive for the John Player special team. On the Grand Prix circuit? No, delivering fags round loose. <laughs> <laughs> He's a car, isn't he? I'm trying to get to Ridgemere Hall. You in service there? Certainly not. I live there. I'm Lady Ridgemere. Rodney, get a tow rope. <laughs> Get oh. you home in no time at all. <laughs> Here we are. Did you go to the wedding? <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, it was a lovely do, wasn't it? Yeah, we watched it on our telly. In colour. <laughs> May I? No, <laughs> it. Mind the old. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, undo the tow rope and give Granddad his scarf back, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right, my lady? The car broke down and I was stranded in the middle of nowhere. And who are these uh, people? Oh, 
good. They towed me home, that's all. Now, be a good chap, Wallace, and do push the car round to the garage. Oi, you shouldn't be pushing a car like that at your age. Keep your knees bent and your back straight. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Dill, let's go. Here you are, Grandad. You don't think I'm leaving here without so much as a cucumber sandwich and a cup of the Earl Grey, do you? This is fate, Rodney. There's got to be an earner in it. But I think we're peasants. Yeah. Peasants? They may think that you two are peasants. Well, come to that, I think you two are peasants. <laughs> <laughs> but me, I'm one of them that is accepted anywhere. Oh, yeah, eyes down for a full house is his lordship. Say, uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid we're not open to the public for another three weeks. <laughs> no, no, Your Grace, you're under a misapprehension. We're not members of the general public. We're friends of your wife's. Oh, I see. Well, uh, in that case, I suppose you'd better come in. Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks very much, Your Grace. <laughs> he curtsies. And don't you go dropping none in there. <laughs> <laughs> They don't make pictures like that anymore, do they, eh? No. Cos I'm a great fan of the Byzantine period myself. Yeah, I don't think you can whack them, you know. <laughs> now, it's a funny thing, you know, Your Lordship, but... Van Gogh happens to be my favourite artist and all. <laughs> it's a Canaletto. I oh, know it's a Canaletto. I was just saying that Van Gogh happens to be one of my favourite artists, that's all. <laughs> Your brandy, sir? Mm? Oh, thank you very much. I'm afraid we have run out of cream soda. Oh, well, don't worry about it, Wallace. I shan't, sir. <laughs> Certainly. Gives good measures here, doesn't it? You want to watch him? Hmm. Very nice. Well, I didn't know you went to Cambridge, though, my lord. Oxford man, myself. You were up at Oxford? No, but he always supports them in the boat <laughs> uh, Thank you, Grandad, thank you. Beautiful house. Is it old? The original structure was built in 1642. Still, you've done it out nice. <laughs> <laughs> is it haunted? I'm afraid the one thing we lack is a resident ghost. I'm begging your pardon, my lord. There's a telephone call for you. The chandelier people. Ah, and about time to, uh, you will excuse me, won't you? Oh, this is nice. I see you like a bit of china and porcelain, my lady. Yeah, this is very nice, this. <laughs> oh, like this. And that particular piece is worth several hundred pounds. If you like a nice piece of fine porcelain, I've got the very thing for you in the back of the van. <laughs> I'll pop out and fetch one for you, shall I? <laughs> right, keep sprouncing, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me, my lady. <laughs> all I know is your people came down here, examined the chandeliers. That was three weeks ago, and I am still waiting for your estimate. Twelve hundred pounds? Are you sure you're looking at the right paperwork? Yes, two Louis XIV chandeliers, that's right. All you've got to do is to take the things down, clean them, do a few minor repairs. Yes, I am aware that it is 17th century French crystal. I'm sure if I shopped around, I could find a lower estimate than that. <laughs> oh, sorry we can't stay any longer, you lordship. Uh oh Thank you for the cat, Mr. Trotter. I'm sorry we weren't able to pay you for it, but neither my husband or I carry cash. Oh, don't worry. Pay me next time I'm down. Yes, of course. <laughs> Do you mean to say you're coming here again? Whatever for? To pick up that fiver she owes him. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your hospitality. Uh, oh, now look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it, eh? 17th century, that, isn't it, Grandad? Yeah, if you like, Dill. Yeah, I'd say it's one of Louise's. That is Louis XIV. Spot on, Trotter. How'd you come to know so much about chandeliers? This is our business. Really? Oh, yeah. Chandelier, candelabra, quality crystal and what have you. It's been the family trade for generations. Our name goes right back in history, doesn't it, Rodney? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right the way back to the plague. <laughs> In recent years, we've tended to specialise in the older uh, renovation work. Uh, do you mean to say that you, get, you can take that thing down and, and, and clean and repair it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, we mustn't keep you any later. I, I just remembered. <laughs> I've got a bottle of rather special port. What say we open it and, and have a bit of a chat? <laughs> Don't be a plonker all your life, Rodney. I've done the deal now. 
It's 350 quid just to take down and clean a couple of chandeliers. Girl, you need specialised equipment for a job like this. What are we going to use, eh? Super glue and a bottle of wind and lean, <laughs> Look, I'll get the right equipment, Rodney. Look, once we've done this job, our name will spread. All those dukes and earls, they'll be crying out for us. Do you honestly believe that, Del? I mean, do you really think we can make a success of this? Of course we can, Rodney. What do you reckon, Rodney, eh? What do you reckon? Yeah, all right, I'll give it a whirl. Good boy. You know it makes sense, don't you? Oi, but we do a proper job, right? No budging. Of course not. What do you take me for, eh? Hey? See you in the morning, then. Yeah, see you in the morning. Do me a favour, will you, Grandad? Pop out in the kitchen, see if we got any windoline and super glue left, will you? <laughs> <laughs> now, right, Grandad, you pop upstairs and get the floorboards up. Don't you worry, Jill. Leave it to me. Right. Wait, Grandad. Do you want a jammy? <laughs> no. Had one before we left. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have to remove the floorboards? How do you think that, that great big heavy chandelier stays up there on that ceiling, eh? <laughs> there is a long threaded bolt through that chandelier. Now, in order to undo the locking nut, you must first lift up the floorboards. If you need me, I shall be round at the garage. Here, while you're there, give the van a wash, will you? <laughs> ah, talking of Wally brains. Eh? Do you reckon we're going to get paid? Look, his lordship is away on holiday. He'll pay us when he gets back. Now, come on. Get these ladders up. Oi, Grandad, how you doing? Oh, bang it, Dill. Right, come on, get this out. I'm starting to undo it. Yeah. No! <laughs> go on, you ready? We ain't even up the ladders yet. Grandad, don't you touch nothing till we tell you. Right. You can start undoing it now. He's coming, girl boy. <laughs> One more turn, Dill. Right. Now brace yourself, Rodney. <laughs> 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 oh, we all knew that was going to happen. All right, dear boy. We mean all right. Look at it. We was working on that one. Well, I wish you'd have said something. I was working on this one. <laughs> Is it very valuable, Bill? <laughs> no, not really. Was bleeding priceless when it was hanging up there, though. <laughs> it, it's broken. <laughs> what the hell do you know about chandeliers, anyway? I should telephone his lordship at his cottage immediately. Has his lordship got our home address and telephone number? Uh, no. Good. Right, out of it. <laughs> 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 well, we all knew something was going to happen to a priceless chandelier. What else is going to happen to it? <laughs> that, was, that was, I guess, yeah, like I said, the last one of the season. Uh, it was pretty funny. We all knew that the chandelier was coming down. It was going to crash. So like I said, I'm going to look for see if I got any extras for this season. If not, we'll get on to the next one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share the video around. All right. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.